Hi, it's Maggie. I wanted to uh, look at these solar eclipse for 2021 on uh, June 10th, 2021. So, yeah, so anyway, there's a whole stellium on June 10th, 2021. We have this sun, 19 degrees uh, solar eclipse. So Mercury upon the communication and the ruler of Gemini is 20 degrees. So Gemini's are, you know, they're ruled by the nervous system. So Gemini's and Aquarius and Libra, all the air signs are really going to be feeling this. And Gemini is sextile to Aries. So they'll, that's a, a easy flowing, harmonious aspect. So, um, but the moon is uh, 21 degrees, 21 degrees Gemini. So they're all in a really tight conjunction. Uh, it's just, I'm going to read the Sabian symbol. I just caught a glimpse of it. And it's pretty much about uh, archaic chatter. <laughs> so or something like that. I thought it was pretty funny because... Um, we have Saturn in, Aquari in Aquarius and Jupiter is in Aquarius. Um, yeah, but uh, Mars, let's see, Mars. Mars is 29 degrees Cancer. Yeah, boy, I kind of have to think light years from now. June 10th, 2021. So, yeah, summer, summer hopefully will be. A real summer, a real summer. Venus is in uh, Cancer also. Venus and Mars both in Cancer. They're not in a tight conjunction, but they are in the same sign. Very watery, sensitive Cancer. Um, yeah, and they're trining Neptune, Neptune in Pisces. So uh, right now we're in Pisces season. Um, there's not a lot of fire this year. Uh, not a lot of fire and not a whole lot of earth. So it's kind of a, a relief from all the dense, heavy cardinal earth energy we had. But we still have Pluto and Uranus uh, in earth. Pluto and Uranus in earth. And Pluto, Pluto's in, still in Capricorn and Uranus is by that time 12 degrees 12 degrees um, Taurus. So we're going to be really seeing, you know, right now they're talking about the economic stimulus bill and, you know, just massive, massive changes regarding money, agriculture, <coughs> um, farming, just anything, anything to do with the economy, unpredictable changes in our earth and climate, atmosphere, and you know, we've got that launch to Mars, which is really cool, Elon. Uh, a lot of space exploration, and that would be <laughs> Uranus leaving the Earth to go find outer realms, realms to inhabit. Um, yeah, sort of like the Aquarian Age. But back to the eclipse. So um, we're going to have four planets in air, two in Earth. A lot of water that day, though. We've got Venus, Mars, and this has the Ascendant in Cancer, and Jupiter, oh, Jupiter and Neptune in, um, can that be right? Jupiter and Neptune in mutable water. So I really need to look at, uh, do, a, do a whole separate thing for when Jupiter goes into Pisces. That's like today, Venus to station zero degrees Pisces, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a whole special thing I want to do. But the eclipse energy is how you communicate, technology, social groups, uh, still keep working on. It's, it's not about isolation, but there's a certain detachment when it comes to communication. And pretty much it's this whole virtual life we're living um, when Neptune goes into, when Neptune is in Pisces, when Jupiter goes into Pisces, who knows what we'll be seeing, like holograms and uh, 
can't even anything. It's so far reaching, you can't even imagine it. But Saturn in Aquarius is some restriction, restriction to communication. So although it's trining, it's in the earth, the air element, um, it is causing some separation and restriction to communication. So we're having to do it through technology, which is Aquarius. And a lot of people are, are becoming teachers, um, students. You know, it's all about learning, learning new things. It's been a lot of chatter. So I'm going to read the Sabian symbol for, it's actually almost 20 degrees since it's, um, you know, such a late degree, 19.57, but I'm not going to read 20 degrees. I could, but, um, yeah, so Jim and I, well, actually, this is, first of all, The Sabian Symbols by Dr. Mark Edmund Jones, excellent reference book if you don't have it, um, and written in conjunction with the clairvoyant Ali Weasel. Um, so Gemini at 20 degrees is a cafeteria, <laughs> and Gemini 19 degrees is a large archaic volume of noise, of chatter. So they both sound <laughs> interesting. 19 degrees, this is a, a large archaic volume. This is a symbol of the ultimate indestructibility of experience so that any path once traversed may be taken again with greater ease and a broader self-discovery. There is here the assurance of illimitable resources in wisdom and the suggestion that this heritage may be made manifest at any time in an immediate and practical guidance. The past always provides an illumination of the present and man achieves best as he cultures a real sense of obligation to his own roots. The key word is background. When positive, the degree has, is a special capacity for the recovery of prior advantages and the effective disentanglement of present involvements. And when negative, a slavish wor worship of tradition and authority. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, they're talking probably about um, Saturn, I think they're talking about Saturn because the opposition um, to Gemini actually is is uh, is uh, Sagittarius. So yeah, you want to see where you have Gemini. For me personally, it's in my third house of communication. That's Gemini's house, so it's just going to be lit <laughs> with with conversation. I'm going to read a cafeteria just out of curiosity. It's at Gemini 20 degrees, because it is, it, it is um, very close, 1957, that's almost there. This is a symbol of the facility with which men organize their own special experience for the benefit of the community at large. That's, that's Aquarius. The divisions of labor which constitute a civiliz civilization are refined to the point where each individual has the largest possible part in the total reality and the resultant ease of function provides a continual reassurance of the self's comp competence. Here a prod prodig wow. Here a prodig pro <laughs> it's quite a vocabulary. <laughs> Here a prodigality of resources in general become a, a very immediate realization. The key word is supply, wow, supply. Um, when positive, the degree is fullness of contribution and effectiveness of requisition in all personal relationships. And when negative, a chronic inability to make decisions or a hopelessly dilettante, dilettante spirit, dilettante. Yeah, it's been said of Gemini says it can be um, just sort of quick and witty and frivolous and, and just a dilettante, I think, kind of just jumps from you know, person to person. And, you know, it, it may be sort of hard to concentrate on one thing, you know, scattered energy. 
but uh, you want to look at your chart, see where this eclipse falls and what house it falls in, and that will co cover the area of your life to be affected for the next year. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I hope, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. All right, take care.